Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Pastor Danko here. How are you today? I want to greet every one of you in the sweetest and most wonderful, most powerful name of our Lord God, Jesus Christ. He loves us and gave himself for us. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I do hope you are in the best shape of life as this message reaches you today. Allow me to quote for you the scripture in 3 John chapter 1 verse 2. It says there, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health. Praise God. Let's be healthy. Further it says, even as our soul prospers. You see, our life here on earth is so precious and uh, exciting. But uh, it is so short and uh, full of challenges. Since uh, time began, man works his way to happiness and for success while existing here on earth. Yet uh, the Holy Bible in the book of Mark chapter 8 verse 26 says that for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall man give in exchange for his soul? Let me present to you the steps to citizenship in the New Jerusalem with God. Have you heard about this city called New Jerusalem? And uh, do you believe about it? Uh, it is the city, the place which God promised to our father Abraham in chapter 12 of Genesis. And um, later on we can read in the book of Hebrews that our father Abraham was looking for a city whose builder and maker is God. And uh, I for one am also looking for that city. I am looking forward to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he also promised his apostles that he would go away and prepare a place and when he will have prepared a place, he would, he would come back and take his uh, children with him so then we can be forever with the Lord. And it will be in the New Jerusalem. It is the most beautiful city whose maker and builder is God and God is going to bring it down from heaven. Uh, some interesting things in that city is number one, God is the light of the city and the throne of God will be set there and uh, the tree of life will be there also. Oh, how nice and how sweet it is even just to dream to be in that city. So. Here are the steps to become a citizen in the New Jerusalem with God in that city. Step one, we must have faith in the one true God. God is not many, God is not two nor three or five or a lot, but we must believe in the one true God. By the way, who is God according to your belief? Is your 
faith is your faith uh, your belief about God is stated or found and written in the Bible because how can a person believe in God if he does not even know who really God is impossible isn't it is it really true that there is God well according to Psalm 41 the fool has said in his heart that there is no God my 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 okay some may say that everything was just caused by nature or other natural forces that took place over time now let us say for a moment just uh, for the sake of an example that this reasoning is true but then the most logical question would arise uh, which may run like this where did nature or these natural processes come from who could create all those marvelous things who else but God could create all this yes it is very clear the truth is very clear there is a true God who is the creator of all things okay thanks for watching this very short video I'll see you in the next video God bless you and take good care.